to a certain degree, we all grew up baking cookies and cakes. But did you know that this is a lucrative business? On today's episode, I speak with culinary creative Kim Outlaw, who has grown her creative dessert business using the power of TikTok. So if you're someone who has a passion for baking, make sure you check out this episode. Enjoy. All right, what's going on, people? So on today's episode of Eat What You Kill, I have Miss Kim Outlaw. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing great, doing Good. great. So today, oh, matter of fact, let's backtrack. Kim is a culinary expert who's grown her business using social media, using going viral on TikTok and Instagram. So today, we're going to talk to her about going viral on TikTok. And how has that kind of affected what it is that you do? So for the people that don't know you, in your own words, how would you describe who you are and what do you do? Okay. Well, my name is Kimberly Outlaw. I would describe myself as being a culinary creative. I specialize in custom decorated cakes, but I really love sculpted cakes. So anything that's like realistic Mm -hmm. or I can make a purse or a shoe or a basketball, that's kind of my arena. So I consider myself a cake artist. Okay. Cake artist. Cake Mm -hmm. artist. Okay. So how did you get into... um, I guess baking, but also, you know, the artistry of it. The artistry of it actually came as a surprise. Really? Yes, it did. I love baking. I have a huge sweet tooth, so Mm -hmm. I bake things that has to taste amazing. (laughs) But when I started making cakes for my kids, that's how it all began. Okay. I started making their birthday cakes Mm -hmm. and they they taste great, but they would ask for like themes that they didn't have like at the big box stores. Right, you right, know, right, you know, right. you get little cake kits yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a new show. And I'm like, okay, well, how am I going to make this happen? So I just started decorating things and watching videos and uh-huh. trying to sculpt myself. You know, we all use Play-Doh before. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. So I got some fondant and <laughs> tried to make figures and it would work out. You know, I made some, they were some bomb mom cakes. Really? They weren't ready for mainstream, yeah, yeah, yeah. but mom cakes, they were pretty dope. And okay, okay. my kids loved them and I just started gathering momentum, just liking to see if I could come come up with a challenge that, gotcha. you know, they gave me and it was pretty fun. Okay. So I guess let's just hop into it. What is your secret sauce for creating uh, viral or videos that you know that's going to get a lot of traction? Wow. I had to learn. Okay. Because I was making cake videos before it even was like a big thing. Uh-huh. You know, people were making people videos. People been doing it for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. But then it became like, you know, serious. There were algorithms. There were things that you had to do to be recognized. Uh And back in the day, everybody just look at them and like them. Right, 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 right. So for me, what I've learned is proper lighting is Mm -hmm. really important. Um, My first videos were a little dim. (laughs) Um, Having fun, kind of getting people engaged, like maybe showing the beginning and covering the camera with your hand and pulling it back in the case there. So trying to come up with creative ways to make it fun. Okay. Or kind of tease them into looking at whatever cake I was doing. Mm, Okay. So that was one of the things that I did. And just kind of just sometimes I did hop on trends in the beginning. So it was a trending audio. I would see how I could work it into my niche to kind of push my my content to be seen as well. Has that worked for you? It has on and off. It's, I wouldn't tell anybody to do it 100%. Uh-huh. Sometimes you can ride the wave just to get some new views. Yeah, yeah. But when you're trying to build an audience, that's not going to capture your core audience that's going to support you right, at right, all right. times. You're just going to get know? people who actually like the trend exactly. or something like that, but they're not really there for you. No. Yeah. No. Okay. So uh, what was the moment that made you realize that you kind of want to lead down this path of you know, uh, Instagram or social media cake artistry? I think the path was that it actually took a life of its own Mm, because like I said, I was just making cakes for my my family, my friends. I started getting a whole lot of inquiries for orders and Mm -hmm. things like that. So I was like, okay, first of all, I need to legitimize what I'm doing. Always got to do that. Exactly. I always joke and say this business started backwards. So it's hard to explain. Mm -hmm. So it kind of catapulted itself and then I had to catch up with it. So getting business licenses and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, TikTok was something new. Okay. You know, um, what is it? YouTube was out there already. You mm-hmm. know, Instagram, I had a little bit going on. And mm-hmm. then I saw like, wow, they're pushing videos right. now. So that's when I kind of made the change and said, okay, if I'm going to make a cake, I can put a picture up there, but I have to film some of the process mm-hmm. just to get people engaged. Okay. So has the, cause I see a lot of your videos where mm-hmm. it's kind of like step by step almost, mm-hmm. or you show a lot of the process of making a cake. Yes. Did that work out, you know, good for you by doing that? It did at first. Okay. I think it did at first, but now 
it's the duration that you have to put out a video. It has to be so quick now like to 15, keep attention. 30 seconds? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you'll see me doing more of a before and after video. Like, oh, okay. Here's my ingredients and boom, this is what I did with it. And I try to hone in on audios that kind of give me that mm -hmm. here's before and after. And it's less work for me in the background. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So I guess what is the time frame that works out for you as far as you'd like to keep your videos underneath this certain, you know, amount of time? I think what helps is usually I do pick my audio first. Okay. I do. I okay. pick my audio first. I might, you know, research and look at some videos uh -huh. that are going. And I was like, oh man, I really like that audio. Yeah, and I'll yeah. save it. And then I'll have that in mind when I'm creating the cake. Mm, okay. I used to do it backwards, but mm. when you're like producing a whole product the whole time, uh -huh. sometimes I can't find something uh, that, you know, right, that will right. roll with it. Mm -hmm. So I think for my, my niche and what I do, it's mm -hmm. important to kind of like listen to the audio, see what you like, create your own. Sometimes okay. when you create your own, that's pretty cool too, mm -hmm. kind of sore. And then you have to have a plan, just like making a plan for my cakes. I have to plan, plan for, for social media. Yeah, for the video. Okay, so when you're, when you're going through like the saved uh, audios and yes. stuff like that, what are some of the things that you're actually looking for? Looking for definitely quick. Okay. I like a quick audio. Yeah. Nothing longer for, for the cake world. I would say nothing longer than maybe like 15 to 30 seconds okay. for me. Okay. Um, to just to ca capture their attention and mm -hmm. keep it. I'm also looking for something that's funny. I like to joke a lot <laughs> on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. So if it's something that's pretty funny and sometimes it's just a gift, like I can hear it and I said, man, I can do a cake with this. Right. Or if I have a cake, I can do before, after and this. And okay. it kind of works out that way. Okay. So uh, what was probably the first video of yours that, you know, you realized that, hey, I should be doing something with this? I think the first video was when I made a cake for the food blogger, Ayamo Boko. Okay. I made a king crab cake because he loves seafood boils. He uh -huh. loves food overall. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. when I talked to him, he said, yeah, I really love king crab. And I was, and we all know that he loves Coca-Cola if you follow him. So I made a Coca-Cola cake too and a cake that would look like butter that you dip it in. Okay. And I did like little snippets of me like molding the cake uh -huh. and making the crab and then it all coming together. And it went so crazy that I was like, okay. You know what? This is something I want to continue because it does mm. generate a lar larger audience right. and more buzz for your business. Okay. So let's talk about that. That was a perfect segue, actually, mm -hmm. to my next question. So you said, you know, adds more buzz to your business, mm -hmm. you know, more eyes on you, things like that. So yeah. how has that translated over to, you know, revenue for the business, more paying customers and so on and so forth? Definitely in today's world, uh, word of mouth is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, on social media, people share your videos. Right. So it's getting so many traction. I'll look sometimes and it's had a thousand shares. You yeah. know, if you can capture that many eyes on your video, when they think, hey, I need a unique, you know, crazy cake, right. I come to mind right. and it's saved on people's pages and they resave it too. So the exposure is one. Okay. It definitely creates more business for you. They do feel like they have a direct contact to you too. So to, on your social media, they mm. may DM you, yeah, yeah, yeah. might send you a message. Right. They might call you mm -hmm. um, and you have the links there where it can drive them to your website. So True. that's good too. It kind of filters out you answering a lot of questions and calls too. Yes. So yes, that's yes, how yes. it's really blessed my business. I'm not on the computer all the time answering questions. It filters through, you know, through the pipe way and the people that are very serious, mm -hmm. they reach me. So it's, it's a, an amazing, I'm telling everybody, you have to get on social media and you have to make it work for you. It's okay. definitely a blessing for me. Okay. Okay. So uh, last question before we wrap this up, you know, <laughs> these are very, very quick and straight to the point <laughs> interviews. So all right, so this is a segment I like to call Skip the Line. Okay. So if you had to, you know, if you were, I don't know, how I want to phrase this. <laughs> if you could go back five years mm -hmm. and talk to your, you know, younger self, your, you know, your inexperienced self. Okay. What tangible piece of advice would you tell them that would allow them to skip the line a little bit? Wow. That is a great question. Yes. That's what we're here for. Is this cake wise or life cake wise, wise? business wise, life wise? If you want to give me something, a little something for all of those. Okay. Well, cake wise, I would go back five years and tell very new Kim to the industry mm -hmm. do what you want to do. Don't follow the path that you think that you're supposed to follow. Mm -hmm. You know, do what you enjoy doing. Right. As creatives, like in, in, in my industry, you know, I can do weddings, yeah. I can do treats, I can do so many things. Mm -hmm. I started out trying to do everything right? and it's exhausting. 
yeah. and you start to get burnt out and you don't like what you do. So mm -hmm. it can make you think like, do I really want to do this? But for me, like, I'm not a wedding girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm so type A, but <laughs> I have some free spirit in here too. Uh -huh. It's just the date's just too far. So right, I might right, want right. to do something else that day. Right, you know, my, right, my right, child right. comes home or uh -huh. it's too much. Do what you want to do. Scope the cakes is what I've always loved. That's what gets me excited. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So what about uh, social media wise? If you had to give social media wise, I would say get started earlier. <laughs> <laughs> get started earlier. It seems like all the you know the people that were grandfathered into YouTube and stuff like all oh, that stuff kind of like rolls so, over to everything yes, else. Yeah, yeah. It definitely does. When you get all those followers, it's like they just go support you everywhere. Right. And now um, it's very highly saturated. Everybody's it out. On it. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, everybody's like monetized now. Yeah. Everybody. I mean, you can post a picture of a kitten and, you know, right. but yeah, I would definitely I get my, say get my, my couple hundred dollar checks Me too. in there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they help. I'm not going to say yeah, anything yeah, about it. They I'm pay some bills. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, get started sooner and have a plan, like, and plan to grow and just and stick with it. No matter how small your following mm -hmm. is, if you have 5,000 people that are riding for you, produce that content, you right. know, so... Okay, and um, that was my last question, but you just said something that made me think about. You said, um, you know, have a plan. Yes. So, like, what was your plan? Oh, my goodness. I didn't have one at first. Okay. I did not have one. Okay. Until I started watching, like, people like you. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh. I never thought about that. I was honestly just posting videos and... Letting it go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Didn't matter the time, how long it was. I'm going to pick the song I like, uh -huh. and I hope y'all like it, but right. that's my taste, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Now you kind of taught me, think about the times that you post your videos. Um, you made me get in front of the camera. I did not want to do that. I like doing my hands. I'm so introverted and Are people you? think I'm not. Yes, I show up, but I, yeah, I am. I feel like we all have to hop in front of the camera. I, mean, I get it because I'm extremely introverted, I but I'm too. also like, all right. You got to do what you got to do. We can do. show up. Exactly. Right. We'll right, do what right, we right. got to do. But yeah. yeah, show up in front of that camera. People fall in love with you mm -hmm. and, you know, your brand second. I think that's really true. So now I actually, well, right now I'm on break. But when I do, I'll plan out my cakes and how I'm going to put my content out. And I'll do some funny videos in between yeah. when, you know, something light just to keep right, me rolling. Right, right. And that's, I make it fun because anything that you do a lot sometimes can start to be yes. not fun. Yes. So yes. yeah, keep yes. it fun and light and do videos to show your personality so people can get to know you. That would be that'd be my advice. Okay. I think we're gonna end it up right there. All right.